ハイパースピードメディア。What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. On our previous episode, we finished building the engine, add all the turbocharger, the turbo manifold, we install it, the skunk t o o intake manifold, reroute the cooling line, add an oil feed and drain line, and bolt everything up. Okay, for this video, I'm going to install an intercooler on the truck itself, as well as the radiator. The intercooler size is 27 by 7 by 2.5. And the radiator is from a Mazda Miata. It's just a generic aluminum、uh, double core radiator. So I'm gonna make custom brackets to mount it. So let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the front bumper. And it's quite simple, there's only a couple bolts to remove it. Moving closer to the truck itself, there's a nut right here. You wanna remove that nut. Also, there's a nut right here that you have to remove. One on each side, so two nuts on here, two nuts on the other side. And then moving to the side of the bumper, there's a bracket that I already removed, and it goes from here to there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do. Is cut a piece of that middle brace right here and then cut a piece of that edge right here on both sides. That should give enough room for the intercooler to clear. After I cut the middle bracket, now it's time to take the bottom bolt off. Okay, now is a good time to grind off all the sharp edges. Okay, now is a good time to grind off all these sharp edges around here.
Okay guys, so the intercooler is mounted right there. It's a simple design, it's just a bracket going across with a rivet nut. So let's go in closer. As you can see, that's the rivet nut and the whole bracket right here. Gonna hold the intercooler in place and it's bolted through the top. I can probably mount the bottom also but it's not really needed because when the hose is connected it should also kind of hold it in place. The next thing I'm going to do is use these brackets right here to mount the radiator. So these brackets I just happen to have it laying around. These were for the side skirt that holds the side skirt in place. So what I'm going to do is kind of drill a hole right here for the radiator to sit on. So I'm going to use this bracket to hold the radiator in place. Right here is the mounting point for the bumper. I'm just going to put this bracket right in there, drill a couple holes, and mount the radiator. And for the top, I'll probably use another rivet nut right here to hold the radiator in place. Okay, now I just finished making the lower bracket for the radiator. Now let's take a closer look at it. Now you can see it's like an L bracket. One bolt is holding the bracket in place with the subframe. And the other bigger hole is for the, where the radiator sits on the bracket. So I made one for each side. And this side I have to cut a notch because it didn't fit the radiator the way the radiator is made. Now the only other thing I need to do is to make a custom bracket for the top. So I'm going to do that next and before we do that let's go and seat the radiator make sure it fits. There's another look from the front and the bracket sits right on the frame rail right here and, and it holds the radiator in place right there. So now, Now coming to the top, now all I have to do is put a bracket for the radiator. I think what I'm going to do is drill another rib nut right here and make an L bracket that holds this in place. Okay now, before we install the radiator, um, I bought a brand new Flexalite fan. So I really like this fan because it's very low profile, it's only two and a half inch or two and a quarter inch thickness. So it's very low pro profile and it gives a lot of room in the engine bay. Um, Alright, before we install the bracket, let's mount this to the radiator and then mount the radiator to the truck. Okay, to install the radiator, it's quite simple. We just attach this arm that will mount to the radiator. There's four of them. And into the screw that holds it in place.
OK in the meantime, I'm waiting for a special hardware to arrive where you insert it into the radiator and it holds it in place, similar to a zip tie. So in the meantime, since I don't have that, I'm just going to use zip tie to mount it down until that hardware arrives. So I'm going to have to do that. Okay, that's it for this video guys, I'll see you on the next video. We're going to mount the two transmission together, the Miata bell housing with the B2200 transmission and then get the clutch and everything situated and after that we're going to make a custom engine mount. So I'll see you on the next video. Hyper Speed Media.